Good morning my friend and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today I am sharing my Halloween clean and decorate with me here in 2022. I have actually never decorated for Halloween in my life so I ended up going to my local dollar store, HomeSense, Marshalls, Michaels, and Walmart and I got a schwack of home decor to put out throughout our house for Halloween and I'm really excited to share that. So I'm going to be decorating here in my kitchen. I'm also going to be decorating our mantle and fireplace area. I'm also going to be sharing a few Halloween DIY projects that I did and so stay tuned for those throughout the end of the video. And on top of that, I'm sharing loads of cleaning motivation. So you are in the right place if you are looking for some motivation to get up and tackle your mess. So I hope that you can clean along with me today. Put me up on whatever device you are streaming from, whether it's your cell phone, your computer, your TV, whatever it is, put me up, enjoy the music, and let's get started. As you can see our house was tidied up so it just needed a little bit of cleaning in certain areas so I was kind of cleaning and decorating at the same time and I was really excited for these wall bats. I got this from Walmart for $3.98 and I thought it was a really good deal. We'll see if it chips off the paint here when I go to take it off. It says it's not supposed to. They are supposed to be wall safe but hey worth it in my opinion. So I wanted to just amp up this space for Halloween. My girls have been completely obsessed with how everything turned out. And you will notice the bats here do look a little bit different. Some of them were from the dollar store, but I would recommend just buying the stickers instead, mainly because the other ones actually keep falling off. I know that decorating for Halloween isn't for everybody and so I wanted to make sure that I did include some cleaning motivation in case that you are not into the actual decor. Um, and for those of you that are here for the decor, I hope that you can get some decorating ideas for your home. Go ahead and let me know down below if you do decorate for Halloween or not.
As you can see here in our kitchen, I didn't go too, too crazy for Halloween. I wanted to kind of start off small and then see where we ended up, but we will be decorating for the mantle here shortly, so make sure that you stay tuned for that if you are interested again in the Halloween decor that I'm about to share. Um, and again, there is lots of cleaning motivation as well. So if you're enjoying today's video, I'd love for you to hit that red subscribe button and also hit the like button while you're at it. It really does help out my channel as a small creator. And I just want you to know that I truly appreciate you and value that you are here. So thank you. Also keep in mind that I do have two little kids, so I didn't want to go totally spooky. I just wanted to add a little bit of spider webs, a little bit of bats, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And I didn't go too crazy as they are only three and five. But let me tell you, they were so giggly and excited to see all of the Halloween decor that I had put out. You'll notice my one daughter comes out of her room while I'm filming midway through this video here shortly. And she was just like shocked when she came out. So they were so excited to see it. They still love it. And I'm just really happy to be creating these memories for the girls as my mom also used to go full out on decor literally every season but mainly for halloween and christmas and it was just a really good memory growing up and so i'm really happy to be again creating those memories with them and then as the years go on i will also add to the collection and i will make it get a little bit spookier as well so i'm just going ahead and hanging the bats here on the mantle and all the way up with the moon to give it a little spooky effect. Let me know down below if you have hanging bats anywhere in your home. Another idea that I would love to do one day is the floating candles and the floating witch hats, especially if we had a covered front porch or back porch or something. I definitely look forward to doing that one day in our future house.
So I did actually DIY these skulls and I'm really happy with how they turned out. I'm going to end up making some more here. But what I did is I just took the skulls and literally got them from the dollar store and spray painted them. It was super simple. I shared a reel over on Instagram and then I actually made it here for a YouTube short as well as I know not everybody has Instagram. But if you do, make sure that you go ahead and follow me over there. I do look forward again to making some more, but I might jazz them up and make them either a little bit more textured with like some baking powder, like a little paste, or maybe even adding some glitter. The one thing I love about them is they are so versatile, super inexpensive, and just really easy to make. Now it is time to make that DIY ghost that has been floating all over my Instagram. All you need is a tomato cage, you need a big ball for the head, some little fairy lights, I got some battery operated ones, and then you're going to need a sheet to go over top, and then I just used some construction paper to make the eyes and the mouth, but this was such a fun DIY. The girls absolutely loved it and I will definitely be doing this in years to come. I will probably put it on my front porch if it was covered again. So for now, we just have it by the mantle. What I've been doing is every single morning, I move him into a different spot and the girls have to go and find him. So think of like a lazy man's elf on the shelf. It's such a fun memory that the girls again have just truly been loving and I'm really happy to be starting this tradition for the years to come. And just a little idea for you to do if you do have smaller kids, they will really, really enjoy it. Isn't he just so cute? I just love him so much. If you are needing some more motivation, I will go ahead and link a playlist for you right here on the screen. So just go ahead and click that to get some more motivation. But anyway, that's all I have for you. Thanks again for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.